Um, the biggest game I haven't played is, for good reason, because it would ruin my life if I ever signed up to it, is World of Warcraft. What? Yeah, I oh, know, sorry, Rach. I, honestly, I feel like it's the sort of game that if I started, I would not stop, because it's so big and has all the expansions and everything, and it's like everything I love with all this fantasy, world building, orcs fighting, magic everywhere. Like, it is, looks like, it is, it looks like some good sh so I have to like avoid it at all costs. I also had like a massive thing for RuneScape like back in the day when that was uh, a top of its time. And so when World of Warcraft came out, I was uh, eight years old. I was but a youngling. So uh, yeah, no, I was about to subscribe to World of Warcraft and I've seen it like grow and watched it and been like, oh, I could play that. Oh. Oh, I could just have you don't a little. Any of it at all, I but... could just have a little dabble, but no, no. Honestly, I'm really scared, like of the addiction that it would like cause in me. I, if I don't ever turn up to what culture again, it's because I've signed up to World of Warcraft and I'm glued. I'm like one of those people that sits in their chair for 48 hours, drinking Mountain Dew and eventually dying of exhaustion from just dip tapping and killing everything. But yeah, this, see, this is why I don't play World of Warcraft. It's... RuneScape was a big part of my life, so. There's a free trial. Well, don't do the free trial. Don't do that. No. I'm not gonna lie, Ash. I'm kind of tempted to start playing again. Should we, should we, so should we, we jump into it? Don't enable. We have a clan. Oh, I'm already starting on the wrong foot, right? Because it's not just video game. It's video games. Oh, no. Plural, like aliens. Plural. It's all of the Pokemon games. Oh, you're a bad man. Except oh. Pokemon Go. And it's not even like, right, I tried, I really tried. All my friends had all of the games when I was growing up. I loved uh, the series, I, I had all the trading cards even though I didn't know how to play the goddamn game itself. I no just loved is. the shininess of them. And I cried my eyes out to Pokemon the movie. And yet the games were so impenetrable and I just couldn't play them. Maybe it was because they were sort of turn-based and I had a real aversion to turn-based combat when I was little. But for some reason, every single time I got a hold of one of my friends, I was just bored. After a few oh, hours, I know, I know, I don't know why, I genuinely don't know why this happened to me because again, I was in that world, I loved all of the little, the little monsters, I know I'm gonna get wrong for calling them monsters, right, but I was they're like, they're pocket monsters, they're pocket monsters, exactly, and I just, I don't know what happened to me, it's because at the time, maybe I just was one of those, you know, cool kids, thought I was better than Pokemon when I grew up a little bit, and I wanted something a bit edgier, so I got into Digimon, I played uh. the Digimon PlayStation 1 game, <laughs> where the Digimon had sh they did turds in the game and I remember someone like lent me the game and he was like oh yeah the Digimon evolve and they did poos and I was like yes that's miles better than Pokemon and then later on in life I uh, got into Yu-Gi-Oh uh, not at all an influence on the hair um, and that one made way more sense to me because uh, like the monsters were kind of darker and grittier and I actually knew how to play the game unlike Pokemon where I just sort of had the cards to trade with whereas I could actually sit down and play Yu-Gi-Oh with someone and like win. You, so, you did all the stuff that came from the games but not the game itself. Yes, I, had, I liked everything around it except the games itself until Pokemon Go which was actually uh, you who got me into that it when was. I was I was here on trial and everyone was playing it and uh, my girlfriend and my flatmate were playing it so I thought I'll oh, give it a go and I got really into it and that's my brief love affair with Pokemon the actual video game as opposed to Pokemon the entire thing I'll still see Detective Pikachu though love the crap out of it no doubt Horrific. No man, it's good. Well, the biggest game you might say, the game that made 3D space even work in the medium you might say. You will say, because it's factually correct. Mario 64. Never, well, it's not that I've never played it. I played it back at launch when it first came out at a little, tiny little store in Hexham um, called Woolworths. Two little name drops for people who live in the northeast of the England. Played Mario 64 on like a demo console thing, you know, and they'd have like an N64 setup. And I, you, the, thing, the thing is, kids these days take it for granted that you can just control a camera. But back then, we couldn't do it. And so when I first got hands on with Mario 64, it was like you press the C buttons or whatever to move the camera. That broke my mind because I was like, now I need to move him and move the camera at the same time. Um, and I jumped around a little bit. I sort of did like a butt stomp and I was like, ah, oh, this feels pretty cool. Um, but back then, I was like, that was it. It was on the demo console, so I left. And back then, when you were a kid, you're embroiled in the console wars and you don't even think outside your own little tribalistic, you know, brand bubble. So I was a PS1 kid. I was a Sega kid and then I was a PlayStation kid, um, aside from Nintendo handhelds. And I was like, I don't want an N64 mum. I want a PS1. I want Crash and Spyro, funnily enough. And so I want all those things. And I don't, I didn't, I never went back to it. I was, I've never, ever gone back to it. And uh, I was thinking of getting the remake of 
of it on 3DS, which apparently is a totally fine, serviceable remake. Um, well, that's the thing, right? And then all the diehards are like, no, you've got to play the real one. And I feel that. I feel like people who go through the remake of Dark Souls, I'm like, you need Blight Town, you need the frame rate, you need the bad stuff, you need to go through what we did and all that. So my plan for 2019, because I remembered at Christmas how good it is to get a new console for Christmas, is to get an N64 23 years later or whatever it is now. Um, get an N64, get the N64 version of Ocarina of Time, because I've only played the 3DS one, um, and get Mario 64, and finally, bring everything back together full circle and finally experience Mario 64. Yeah, I, I just had a PS1, it was the cool, I want the discs, okay? I don't want your old school, your grandpa cartridges. I want my technology. Yeah, you do want the disc, mate. I kind of do now, yeah, but we'll get there eventually. I will play it at some point in life, probably. <laughs> I'd love to come out with something really, really shocking, but- um, You probably will. <laughs> I mean, the truth being is that there's a load of things I haven't played. When I was a kid, I had I pretty much only played Nintendo. Mm. When I was a teenager, I pretty much only played World of Warcraft. And when I was an adult, still am an adult, I pretty much just play Dark Souls. <laughs> so <laughs> there's actually a lot of games that kind of passed me by. Um, I guess the big ones that people always tell me that, I, oh, you need to play, I've, I've sort of been playing them in recent years, like with streaming and that, I've kind of been like, finally ticking off the boxes, I finally played the Mass Effect trilogy, finally yes. played the Bioshock trilogy, those Good. were two big ones. Um, I still have to finish Dead Space, so. Ooh. Oh, there you go, ooh, never played ooh. Dead Space 2, ooh. Stay the hell away from <laughs> Um The only Assassin's Creed game I've ever played is Origins. Oh God, okay. Yeah. Good. Um, Resident Evil 4 in there. Haven't played Resident Evil 4. Good. Haven't played Final Fantasy 7. Good. The only Final Fantasy I've ever really played is 14, because I like an MMO. <laughs> I played a little bit of 15, because the boys were cute. Um, nice. Yeah, lots of <laughs> lots of games. Like like I say, I'd love to really shock you, but I mean, chances are, like I sort of know what I like, and I'm not really bothered about sitting here and saying, oh, I've never played Call of Duty Black Ops 4 because I don't really like that kind of stuff. So I'm not really, I'm not How really sure. Have you played Devil May Cry? <gasps> I've never played a Devil May Cry game. Oh. I mean, I don't think that's that shocking. Well, we'll find out. Is it? It's shocking to me, Do mate. I shock you? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to hit the audience the bit of the old uh, one, two. Okay. The old one, two, because uh, I've never played Final Fantasy. What? Any of them. You haven't played any of them? No. Not even the one where they're all in the car tracking around, which released through the year. That looked really... Wait, no, no, no. Okay, yeah. This is the thing. Like, I I can understand you leaving out a few of them. Like, yeah. Final Fantasy 13, Tosh. 13, 2, Pish. 13, 3, Lightning Returns. Get out the door. But seriously, Final Fantasy 6, 7, 8, Underrated. 9, Fantastic. 10, all right, got Blitzball. They're, 11, online, they're, 12, I mean, yeah, Zodiac Age is alright, fine, fine, but come on, man! Yeah, you, you, you kind of illustrated the problem that I have with the series, that the number, it, it, as soon as a series goes past six, yeah. except Star Wars, I'm kind of just like, what? There's, like, there's 13 of them, and then there's 13.123. Yeah. And it's like Kingdom Hearts as well, it's like, there's, there's what? There's, there's things that are just remixed? What, what does that mean in a game? When, when, how can you remix a game? So, like, it's just, it, it makes no sense to me. There's, there's three main entries in Kingdom Hearts, but apparently there's 11 games. How does that make sense? Anyway, what's your other one, two punch? Oh yeah, so Nintendo just wasn't a part of my childhood. So I, I love Pokemon, obviously Josh right. has already said that, I, I love Pokemon. I watched the animated series loads when I was little. Gr never played the games. Uh, wow. nev never played a Pokemon game? Never played Pokemon, I didn't have a handheld console. And to be fair, that's kind of my parents' decision because I, I used to go on the Dreamcast and the Xbox a lot when I was young. And if I ever had that handheld capability, I could imagine it would have wrought havoc. I probably wouldn't have read comics. I probably wouldn't have done enough Lego. So you know what? Fair to play to them. You know, I've got. It wasn't just sat in front of a screen all the time doing Nintendo. But yeah, no, I, I've never played a Zelda game. I've rarely dabbled in Mario. The only time I played Super Smash Bros. was when I was at a friend's house, and then I got beat in the tournament at university where a guy was like, "Take that, noob!" And I was just there like, "This means nothing to me." What other Nintendo mascots can I say that? Oh yeah, never played Metroid. Never no, played any Metroid. Really? I have played a. Uh, Republic Commando, which is kind of Metroid-esque, and then, uh, yeah, <laughs> it is. It has the, it has the face. Yes, yeah, it's like that about Halo as well. Ah, uh, yeah, but Halo is different. Any helmeted mascot is yeah. the same. Oh, as Metroid. play Doom. Play yeah, Doom. Yeah, same, so, same as yeah. Metroid. Uh, Arkham has some Metroid-esque elements in the puzzle-based yeah. things, and same, same as it has some Zelda-based elements as well. So there we go. Some could say that I have played Metroid and Zelda by adoring the Batman Arkham series for as so long as Batman I have. Batman turns into a ball and rolls through vents. 
No, he crawls in through vents, like in Die Hard. Which is also uh, Metroid. Metroid made, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Die Hard is basically the first video game movie if you think about it that way. You've really we've gone over, full circle. Yeah, yeah, we've gone, we've gone mad. Have really <laughs> <laughs> the X Files theme just playing around just there, like. <laughs> so the biggest game that I've unashamedly never played probably has to be, and it's been a long time coming, Shadow of the Colossus. And this is only because of the fact that Scott and I have been talking about it a lot, and he constantly tells me how great this game is, and I've seen all the footage of it, and I think yes, it is exactly my type of game. And I've spoken about it enough on list forms to just to say that I probably should have played it by now. But you'll always notice that whenever I include it in an entry, I'm always very careful with my wording. I always go, fans of this game say that it's amazing like that, all to cover my deep dark shame that I've not actually played it. And I've got no excuse, there's the remaster that's come out as well um, for the PS4, which looks fantastic. I don't know why I've not played it, but I think it's just because there have been so many other good games like like Jump Force that I had to play through, and lots of Valkyria Chronicles 4 that I still am trying to 100%. And Spider-Man, to be fair, some good games. You finished actually. that yet? Getting there. And so, yeah, Shadow of the Colossus is one of my to-do lists, but it's been so far on my to-do list that it's just uh, getting buried by other stuff. So yeah, kind of sad actually, just because we're all marching close to the grave and I might not have enough time. I might be dead tomorrow. Everyone as a kid seemed to have a little console called a PlayStation 1. A little bit, yeah. A little bit. And the games I had for that weren't really big old mainstream games. I had things like Monsters Inc. Scare Island and the Harry Potter games and uh, I had the first two Gran Turismos and stuff like that. But the, the quintessential PS1 games that everyone else always talks about weren't really part of my childhood. Mainly because the, the PS1 that I played on was my dad's, not mine. Okay. So I didn't really have my own games for the system. And I'm it's really I'm, something terrible. I'm really sad because this is gonna be the last ever chatty faces I'm on, because I'm gonna have I'm gonna be hanging from my bollocks from a flagpole outside the What Culture offices after the end of this uh, little little thing here. Because everyone always talks about it. They're all really excited about when it gets remastered. Oh my god, what is it? But I have <laughs> never, ever, ever played any Spyro games. Oh! God! Bye, everyone. Did you oh. even have a childhood? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry! <laughs> oh god. Like oh god. I said, the, the PS1 when I was a kid You've was- You've Josh cry! <laughs> and Josh is dead. Give me those tissues back. <laughs> <laughs> they're, on, they're down there. I just, I didn't play the Spyro games, I didn't have the Spyro games, I, it was one of those things where I was so out of touch with like, um, I say with console gaming back life. then, but like, with life I guess, and childhood, and being a child. No, I, because I played games on PC, like my, the PS, PS1 was just there for having the sake of the PS1, and I'd always go back to things like Gran Turismo and Monsters Inc and Harry Potter, so I never was looking at the big games at the time and thinking I really want to play these, because I was kind of quite happy with what I had. So. I'd never played any of the Spyro games, and nor had I played any of the Crash games on PS1. So when I had, I had, a, I had Wrath of Cortex on the PS2. Oh, you did! <laughs> to my face. Yeah, exactly. But I got the remaster of that when it came out because I want, I really wanted to play the original Crash games. I know, obviously not properly because it's the remaster. But... Your first Crash was Wrath of Cortex. Yes, my only Crash was Wrath of Cortex. <gasps> so, and that's that's kind of another thing. Um, but yeah, the Spyro games, the original ones, I've just, I don't think I've ever played them like myself or at a friend's house or anything. So that was that was my bad one. I mean, I could say like any Final Fantasy game, any <clears throat> Metal Gear game. Uh, there's, a, there's a list I could I could I could reel off, but I think I've got no energy left. I think the, the lack of Spyro in my life is what's uh, is what's killed you all. But Tetris is good doing it. Tetris is great, mate. <laughs>